Good morning guys. The road construction crew is here. They brought a smaller excavator because gonna, we're gonna lay some uh, installations or wires under the road first. And uh, they're setting up uh, with some gear. We have rolled out these cables, there's uh, four cables, three of them are for uh, telecom and uh, one of them is for the gate, the signal cable for the gate. They're gonna go in a, a trench or a hole under the road uh, on the depth of 90 centimeters and then on top of them there's gonna be an electrical cable for the gate power. and. Uh, yeah, this was a lot of work to unroll, but we managed to. They're pretty thick. They're pretty thick uh, pipes. Uh, they have a 40 millimeters inner diameter, and they're used for uh, blowing in cables like uh, fiber optics or copper cables for the internet. And uh, the black one that we have here is also for the gate, and that one has a. Uh, like a wire inside of it so you can attach a cable and pull it through because the telecommunications company they have a special machine that can put air under pressure and blow the cable through but to rent one it's pretty expensive and I'm gonna do the cables for the gate I don't want to rent one I just bought a bit more expensive pipe maybe I don't know uh, five cents or 10 cents more expensive per meter uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to pull the cable through that I need without renting any special equipment. We are preparing to lay these pipes underground and because I don't have uh, that many caps for them I'm going to wrap some foil around them so that they don't get uh, full of dirt and sand. So I just have some of the black foil they came wrapped in and it's gonna tear a piece and just wrap around the end fold in half so that this is protected and I make sure to get some tape on the bare pipe so that this does just doesn't come off easily And there you go. are doing a terrific job of laying out the cables basically they're laid out in a specific order so that uh, once something happens and we need to dig something up we know exactly what is what so the work is progressing well The excavation is going uh, well, we had some bumps along the way, but we're continuing on. And, uh, this is uh, one of the free telecom cables, we're gonna split it off from the road, so that if we build something here, 
we got uh, it covered also with internet. Uh, before we put in the road, we want to make sure we have cables everywhere we need to, so that we don't have to dig it up later and destroy it. So this is the first cable that's going off from the road, and it's about four meters from the fence. It is 5 o'clock now, all the crews have left, the general contractor that's going to build our house and also uh, the road crew and uh, today was a pretty fast paced day with some fires I had to put out so there wasn't that much time to film but I'll tell you how things happened. The guys they uh, left too little room on the side of the telephone pole on one of the cables Something made me think about it and I actually went and checked when they were maybe 20 meters in and uh, it turned out there were 4 meters missing from the cable that is actually going to our house one that spans 230 meters The guys said they didn't want to dig it up I said, but okay, we have to move it somehow so let's try pulling on it and we pulled on it The telephone cable snapped That was pretty bad at that point but I quickly uh, called my wife to look into the documentation for the project and it turned out we had maybe a couple of meters left <laughs> to spare. I told them okay but now we have to uh, shift it along so they started digging it up. We left the cable unrolled in a spool, they started pulling on it from that end and what happened is uh, from the spool the twisted wire came off and as they pulled it and tightened and broke, I picked up the phone, I called a telecom company that is maybe 30 or 20 kilometers away. I asked them if they had such a spool of uh, cable, they did. I decided to take one of the guys and we went and bought the, another spool. It was pretty intense, but I think we persevered and we're gonna continue on. And that is the most important thing. Mistakes happen, people are just people. It was an easy mistake, a mistake to make, and uh, you know, that's life. We agreed to start tomorrow again from 7 a.m. on Saturday, when it's nice and cool still outside because the temperatures, they rise up to 26 or so degrees Celsius now. I even got some sunburn on me from the sun. And on the general contractor side, they marked out where the foundation is going to be and then they decided, they, they decided to take out a lot of the material from where we dug down until the base of the foundation with the excavator. They're gonna set up forms for concrete. First they're gonna do a little bit wider, uh, weak concrete just to redo the soil. In Poland we call it thin concrete. The norm is I think B10. It's just supposed to take place of the sand and uh, even out the ground underneath the real foundation and then we're gonna set up forms and pour uh, uh, concrete with free bar in it and everything and that is going to be fun guys I'm filming this tomorrow because uh, yesterday I didn't but I wanted to include this in the video Okay, here we go. So, this is the kind of bend that happened, and uh, might not look that bad. But what the issue is is that the structural integrity of the pipe is compromised at this point, right? And it might even look rounder 
but at any point of pressure it just does this and this is a critical failure for the pipe for example this would be under some part of the road where the trucks drive they will just smash it squish it and then the fiber wouldn't go through or the copper cable wouldn't go through the pipe there are a couple of these because the spool was unwinding and bending and uh, if we look closely here you can see it's uh, also bent if we would cross it it would bend like that one not really structurally sound anymore and there's probably one more probably somewhere here yeah <coughs> You can see it in the line, you can see it in the shape. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video and me rambling on at the end. And I hope you will subscribe and keep watching uh, more from me on Monday. Or actually Saturday tomorrow when we're gonna be doing the road. And then construction on Monday. And uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Have a good day.